hello everyone welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are doing amazing in your life so i'm back with another program known as home support worker or caregivers program it's famously known as caregivers program and it has two categories so without wasting any time let's start Caregivers program, it has two categories, home support worker stream and home child care provider stream. So for your information, home support worker stream is still open. If you have the experience, if you are eligible, go to the website and apply now. Don't waste your time. About the fees, the fees for this program starts from 1085 Canadian dollars. And the processing time as per the IRCC website, it's 34 months. But again, I will say if your file is complete, your documents are complete, IRCC doesn't need any further information from you, might take um, sooner or might take uh, less time than 34 months. If IRCC needs further information, then of course, uh, your file might take more than 34 months but 34 months is the processing time as per IRCC website what is the eligibility to file your application in this program so first of all you have you must have valid job offer in Canada and it shouldn't be from the institution it should be from the private home owner or private person like not from the company or something and then you must be able to do your job. That's the second requirement. The third, you must meet or exceed the language requirements. You must meet or exceed the education requirements. And then you, you must be admissible to Canada. Talking about the language requirements. So your score, there are two official languages of Canada, English and French. I'll quote example of English here. So let's say you are taking IELTS for uh, proving your English competency. So your score must be CLB 5 or more. Education requirements. So you must have at least one year of post-secondary education in Canada. If you haven't studied in Canada, then comes the education credential assessment. So you must be having the education credential assessment that can show that you have at least one year of degree or diploma post-secondary diploma how can you show that you are able to work ability to work you can prove you can show you can attach your trainings or past experience experience certificates basically to show that you are able to work you are able to take care of the child you are able to work as the home support worker there are four programs covered in this caregivers category and those four programs are you can see on your screen they are home child care provider pilot gaining experience category home child care provider pilot direct to permanent residence category home support worker pilot gaining experience category home support worker pilot direct to pr category so two categories gaining experience and if you have experience direct to peer what changes have been made to work experience and job offer requirements so work experience earlier it used to be 24 months but now the 24 months criteria has been reduced to 12 months only so if you have 12 months of qualifying work experience you can become eligible in terms of work requirements or work experience requirements in terms of job offer must be valid it must be uh, legal and job offer must not be as i mentioned earlier it must not be from a business it must be uh, from someone who directly wants your care uh, for their personal needs or their family or relatives need like they need your support or personal care in terms of their health medically or something now when i say care of someone so who is included in someone so care of someone includes your spouse if it's not for you directly it's for your spouse your parents 
your children. Now, special note, if you already have experience working as the support worker for any business in Canada, that experience also qualifies as a uh, work experience and you can apply for the program uh, with your qualifying work experience. Now you must apply online. No paper applications should be submitted. You must apply online through the PR portal. Now, what are these steps? You get your documents ready. You take your IELTS exam. You file your application, submit your application, get the medical, biometric, police certificates, documents ready. And then you wait for your decision. Once you get your PR, you are good to go. So these are the steps and the general information which I covered in this video. Hope you like it and wait for my next part of this program. And until then, keep watching, keep learning from me from Canada Life. Thank you.